Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play the Original Fallout. Yes, we are once again back here in Shady Sands with Dr. Bob Atomic, who's about to venture due east to check out the east side of the village. But before we do, just a couple of little things. First of all, I went around and I talked to everybody again just to see if I'd missed anything. And uh, we got a little bit of extra information out of the lady that was stood at the entrance, whose name escapes me right now. Uh, but she basically told us a little bit about Vault 15. She said that the elevator was broken. And in the last session, we bought a rope from the Seth, the, the captain of the guard, who was stood next to her. Uh, and I... I kind of said, oh, I vaguely remember having to use a rope somewhere, I couldn't remember where, I'm thinking that could possibly be it, so that rope could be used for the elevator shaft, I don't know, maybe. Um, she also said, oh no, and then Raslo also said about the Rad Scorpions uh, that they are uh, not like light, so we've got some flares, so that might, I don't know, that might freak them out a bit if we need to use those as a potential strategy against the Rad Scorpions, but anyway. And we also went around and, uh, you know, we're helping the villagers out. We're helping the village out with the Rad Scorpion situation. We need to go tooled up and ready, so uh, we, we gathered a few supplies, shall we say. Uh, you know, from, from the village, we got an additional knife. You know, hack off their, their stingers for the poison, probably. Uh, and we also picked up some ammunition for guns that we don't have. But, I mean... Ammunition is ammunition. And we got rocks, because if all else fails with those rad scorpions, we can just lob a rock at them as a distraction technique before we hightail it out of there. Uh, so yeah, we uh, picked up just a couple of little bits. Oh, an additional stim pack as well. Uh, call it uh, upfront uh, equipment to, to assist for our promise to help the villagers out here with the rad scorpion caves. The ultimate help, hopefully, is going to come from Ian very shortly. But anyway... I vaguely remember, now it's coming back to me, that if it's a green transition point rather than a, an orange one, it's an internal one, so this is gonna take us due east to the to the to the to the Brahmin pens. Two headed cows. Can you imagine? I'm sure Bob hasn't seen these before. Probably running up in shock and horror and delight and wonderment all at the same time. The hell are these things? Nice to see you. Well, <laughs> nice to see me. Nice to see cows with two heads. You see nothing out. That's a fence. <laughs> you see nothing out. Can we talk to them? Ooh. <laughs> okay. You see a two-headed mutant cow. Yeah. Bob clearly clearly putting this down to to the radiation mutation here. But yeah, two-headed cows. What in the hell fire and brimstone, he's thinking, is going on here? Right, we have a well system. Too little water to supply your vault. We're doing something with it, though. What are we doing with it? Maybe, uh, maybe Bob's just splashing his face. It looks a bit dusty and hot out here, you know. Bob taking the sip, splashing his face, cooling down. Oh, well, welcome to Shady. I didn't expect her to talk, to be honest with you. But hey, what's the deal with this place? We're a true community. We all work and share together. How on earth do you survive? Farms. We have farms. We have irrigation. We heard Brahmin. Obviously, now we've got a name for these two-headed creatures. Uh, Brahmin, she points over to the to the pens. Everyone contributes their skills to making something useful. Okay, we know Aradesh is the leader. Anything to barter with? Uh, just some bottle caps. Did we get any more bottle caps? No, we still only got the eight. It's fine for now. Uh, okay, thank you very much, kind lady, for talking to us. Just be careful not to stomp their uh, their crops, Bob. I don't think that'll go down too well. I don't know, just call it a guess. Okay, we've got a little...
crafted pot and a desk. Well, this is the office. This is the farm office. <laughs> okay, back over the crops. So let's, what are these anyway? It's a plant. I get that. It's a mutated cabbage that's thriving in the warm weather. Mutated corn stalks. So we've got corn, we've got cabbage. Very nice. We've got Brahmin if you want a bit of meat. A bit of steak and corn, perhaps. Got nothing to say to you, stranger. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we've got anything of particular note here. Let's have a look inside. We've got uh, citizens milling about. Another citizen. We're all rather talkative in this part of town. Don't have much to say. I only have, you know, the odd bottle cap or two. Okay, we have another rope. I think one rope is probably enough. How heavy is this stuff? Doesn't say. But here's a scout handbook. So these books you can read and they increase your uh, skill level. So, uh, you know, Bob, want to take some time, sit down, do some more reading. He likes reading. Just wondered about this rope. Would it be good to have a spare? I suppose so. One can never have too much rope, you know. But, you know, if we don't truss up those raiders. Got a stove, bit of food. All right, Bob's sitting down and taking the time to uh, have a look at this book. Now, I think that these scout handbooks increase your outdoors skill. I'm just going to check this. Uh, so, Outdoorsman is 19 currently. And after we've read the scout handbook... You learned all about the Wilderness Survival. 27. There you go. It does actually advance time reading. Let's cancel that off for a second. Uh, it's 11.31. Six days have passed. Uh, so the amount of time it takes you to read your book is actually uh, linked to your intelligence. Which I thought was a pretty cool feature. The more intelligence you have, the quicker you can read the book. Seems logical, right? But uh, the fact that it's implemented is quite cool. Uh, right, anyway, thank you all. Taking your rope. You know, uh, could come in handy in the Rad Scorpion uh, uh, caves. I don't know how, but hey, maybe we'll leave as a trail behind us, Hansel and Gretel style. Uh, it's a very long rope then. Right, anyway. <laughs> I, I digress slightly. Right, so uh, we'll we'll check out and see if Ian can come. And if he can, we are off to the uh, to the Rad Scorpion Caves. He sounds like he's a, a pretty competent kind of guy when it comes to combat, because we really don't wish to be dealing with Rad Scorpions on our own. I don't even think we possibly. I don't think we physically could, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, here is Ian asking Bob what he can do for us, and uh, we're just generally asking for a bit of help. Particularly with the Red Scorpion Caves, you know, we, we have promised the Elder that we'd try to help out here, and you look like you can handle yourself a fair bit, Mr. Ian. Perhaps you could, you could come and uh, tag along? It's not too much bother? Hmm, tempting offer. Since this place gets boring, tell you what, standard rates, 100 caps. You've got yourself a deal. A hundred caps, of which we don't have. However, Bob, thinking on his feet here, uh, ooh, how about a piece of the action? What action and what piece? I'm assuming this is probably to do with the, I don't know, taking a cut of the, the loot or something, taking a cut of the proceeds. Now, technically speaking, paying him a hundred caps up front is probably going to be more value for money rather than giving him a piece of the action if he stays with us for a long time he's going to get more than 100 caps worth out of us if we do that option but we don't have 100 caps at the moment but we do have the ability to make 100 caps probably if we barter with him 63 8 we could sell him some rope <laughs> 25 right 
I'm not going to sell anything to him, and I'll tell you why uh, briefly. Uh, because I believe that although these companions that you get act on their own, um, and you can't really manage their inventory, I believe that you can steal from them willy-nilly as a means to help manage their inventory. So we could, I'm assuming, I haven't tried this of course, you could game the system by you know, giving me the 63 that I'm buying the rope for and, you know, whatever else. And then we could just steal it back off him. Which is a bit gamey. So we're not going to do that. So we're going to leave him as he is. Only going to use that option to, to inventory manage with him. Um, but we need to find 100 caps or give him a piece of the action. To find out what we do, join me in the next session as we make our decision and then move on to the Red Scorpion Caves. <laughs>